Good day, sir. Okay, so in one word or sentence, give us your perspective or your take on these historical Nigerian events. Um, I think uh, at the time uh, it was a, it was the best thing that at that time happened to Nigeria. Introduction of NYSE. And NYSE actually it was a good thing at the start, but later on along the similar, along the line, it has been it, 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 they they don't seem to be functioning that way, so it's not good. The civil war was not was not a good thing for me. For example, it affected me. I didn't go to school when I'm supposed to go to school. So uh, I just that made me to go to school late and graduated late. So it was not a good thing. Military rule. Mm -hmm. Military rule. They have advantages and they don't. They, they had some disadvantages in it. So. It should not be uh, continuous. Last one, return to civil rule. The good thing, it's a good thing for me, civil rule. Um, my name is uh, Ogibe Uogu and uh, I am fr I'm from Abia State in Nigeria and uh, I am from Ngwa land and Ngwa is in Obiomangwa local government area. My village is Apa Mbato in Obiungwa, local government. The Kola North has come a long way from our ancestors. Kola North, as you see it here, we have Igbo Kola, and this is our Kola, which is Goro, we call it Goro. Uh, the people, some people, they say, uh, there is a saying, it says that Kola North does not understand English. It does not understand English because every time you can, whenever you lift a Kola North, you must, uh, you must describe the Kola North in the language of the people. For example, I'm from Mugwa and uh, when I pick up the cola nut in the first place, the cola nut, when somebody comes to your house to visit you, you will present that person with a cola nut. If you don't have the cola nut, you will apologize and say, I am sorry, I don't have cola nut. Maybe next time we will be able to, you know, break cola nut because what this uh, color not signifies is acceptance of that person that came to your house. You have accepted him, and when you offer him a color not, that means that you have accepted his coming and that it is well. Okay, so you two will break the color not and uh, eat. Then, when it is uh, a lot of people, several uh, other ethnic groups, or if we are, if we have people like Ngwa people, uh, we have people from other other people like uh, from Imo State Uwere, and uh, other uh, other people of uh, of uh, Igbo origin. This could or not us as well. You have to find strategic people who, who uh, are the elderly people in those areas and uh, before you, you break the color 
you will ask them, you will let them know that this cola that you have, that we have brought cola and this is for them, okay? And uh, sometimes um, when you are wrong in presenting the cola not, they will it will it will deserve a fine. You will be fined and you can pay the fine. So cola not is very very important in the life of in the life and culture of the Igbo people. There is something that we uh, call Eba Eba Ebe. That is a cultural uh, masquerade, you say. Uh, that we do, we 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 have to signify. So most of the times, it is done every every two years, so that uh, people will gather. It's just it's just uh, sort of having fun, and uh, also uh, inviting people, your siblings who have been married and uh, who are outside the constraints of the. Of, uh, of the village, divide them, they will come during that time, everybody will enjoy each other and those eight group individuals will be the ones that is going to uh, be in mostly involved in that and uh, during that day, uh, it is done eight days, eight days straight, every evening eight days straight. So, um, the, mas the masquerade, which we call Epe, is going to be displayed, and there's an, a small other masquerade that is going to be pushing people, children around, and they will be running and having fun. In fact, myself here, I was, uh, I used to be, to like to be one of the small masquerades that that flog people <laughs> and we'll be running around they'll be running around and we'll be we'll be we'll be just you know making them to be scared uh and uh, the main masquerade the 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 the, the, the distance with the band the parts will be beaten and they will be dancing according to uh the the uh pallets that are being beaten according to the distance but these days it's no longer being done and uh, it's just that I'm a Christian now I cannot say uh, ask them to uh, to be repeating those those things it's not that there is anything diabolic that is in there but uh, it's, 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 a festival. it's a festival just a festival I would like my children to know those kind of things so that they know what kept us in the village and why we were we had fun you know growing up it i mean you, you just you be, you look up for it when the time comes everybody is going to come down from everywhere if you're a student you leave school you come back and everybody will just enjoy that period of time and uh, it was fun i don't know why it's not being done now but if i happen to uh, sponsor it, I would like to sponsor that kind of thing. It's not that uh, there is nothing uh, on Christian that is there, you see, but it's just that uh, people have fun and, uh, and uh, you know, mingle with each other. Yes, I did experience that. For example, I had a sister at that time when um, when the war was on <coughs> and uh, this time around the war uh, was just well I think this is the this is this is when this happened was when actually the war was over and when we want to go to the neighboring village or go to uh, our sisters or siblings in the village some village we have to go through the back door and sometimes uh, the women, we have to discolor them by, by, by uh, rubbing charcoal on them so that their faces will not show. Why is that being done? That's because 
the Nigerian army, army uh, they were conscripting women and uh, sometimes they will uh, mingle with those women. They will sometimes marry them and sometimes they don't marry them, but they were conscripting them from their, from their parents. So I had a sister who, uh, who uh, was whom we were trying to camouflage so that they, they, they wouldn't fall in the hands of the army. But eventually they did capture, they did uh, catch her up and snatch her away from us. And uh, we thank God that after the war was completely over, the, the, the army man was from Cross River State and he came to pay her bride price. So it's true that uh, uh, you could, sometimes you could not walk on the road openly like that because uh, they're going to get you. I wish that rearing children would still be like it used to be in those days. I want that culture to continue. Why? Because when I do something outside and uh, another man, just another man in the village, sees me do something wrong, right there and then they can whoop me and they can bring me back to my parents. And when my parents, when, when I come back to my parents, my parents will also whoop me. So it's not like, oh, that, who, who is that child? That child is not my child. And you leave him and he gets, he, 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 will, he, will, he will just mess up and mess around and doesn't listen to people. When once you have something, when once you did something wrong, and an elderly person sees you, you are going to be in trouble. That's what kept most of us in check at that time. And uh, you don't even try to do something that is not, which when your parents hear about it, is going to bring is the, uh, you know, cause you to have a stigma in your family. So um, that goes to bind with the saying that says that uh, 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 a child is reared by a village, not a single man. If I had a chance of going back and uh, to correct the things that I was experiencing at the time I was younger, for example, I, I reference back to uh, after the war, we were just getting off the war and uh, in a month's time, my mother died and my sister was, she just had my sister. And uh, that time people were abandoning their children and uh, you know, because of how things were uh, coming back from the war. And uh, myself at that time was supposed to go back to, uh, that was the time I wanted, I was supposed to go back to secondary school, but I never did. I resourced to stay back home, and my father said, stay back home and, uh, you know, take care of your siblings. And uh, my sister was just uh, probably uh, a month old before my mother died. So I had to, stay back and uh, take care of my siblings. Uh, and then after that, after I went back to secondary school, I wish I, had, I, wish I knew what I know now that I am an elder, uh, that there were a lot of things also going on at that time. So if I knew what I know now, when I was young, I would have always uh, tried to, um, to seek information from the elderly people before 
uh, doing uh, doing anything that I want to do because that is that's like you having a template of or a blueprint of what you are looking at, how you want to mold your life. That would have helped me a lot. <laughs>